You just calm her down, Chiquita Banana. Me? Yeah, Nobody's you. Laughing. No. <laughs> Nobody's laughing. Now people are starting to join. <laughs> she always goes so fast. <laughs> I forget it's not pre-recorded. What's going on, Hi. Ashley? Hi, y'all. Hi. I'm allowed to say hi now. I was getting, I was getting scolded for a second there. <laughs> yep. Oh my I gosh, it's it. so bright. I know. Oh, hi, up. Ashley. Hey. This is on a delay. Oh. So I see things after the fact. Oh, hi, Bobby <laughs> Joe. There cool. we go. Now That's people are popping. Oh, okay. I guess we can sit. Unless we want to start yoga. We can do anything, right? Jack jack it out for a few minutes. Get warm. <laughs> if you're just coming on, welcome. Thanks for joining us. This is Ashton and Michael with Flow Lab. Um, I am an Atcha with 45 minutes of flow. Thanks so much for being here. Um, let's get started right away. Let's come down to the back today to start class. So you can bring your feet just flat to the floor, lie on your back, and just find a comfortable position for the feet where you can drop the lower back down to the mat and reach the tailbone forward. Drop the belly button towards the spine. Full breath in. Full breath out. And then you can start to find just a natural curve of the low back if that feels more natural in the body. Let the arms rest beside you. And for some of us, that doesn't feel as good. So if it feels better to keep the low back pushing into the floor and keep that little tuck under of the pelvis, you can do that. Press the feet down into the mat. And just let the shoulder blades tuck beneath. Full breath in, and full breath out. And then walk your heels in a little closer to the glutes. Reach your fingertips toward your heels. And as you inhale, lift up the hips and sweep your arms up and overhead. Breath in. And exhale, lower the hips down and take the hands back beside you towards the mat. Inhale, breath, lift the hips and reach back. And exhale, breath, lower the hips and reach forward. A couple more times, inhale, lift the hips, reach back. Exhale, lower the hips and come forward. Last one like that, inhale, lift and reach. And exhale, lower, bring the hips back to the mat. Tee out the arms, scoot your hips over to the right and let both of your knees fall left. Let your gaze follow the right hand, soften the right shoulder to the mat. Try to keep a stagger of the legs to keep this soft. Don't worry about stacking the knees yet if that doesn't feel good. Full breath in and full breath out. And then back through center, sweep the hips over to the left. Let the knees fall right and find a little twist, movement from the spine. It's okay if the knees stagger, breathe in and stay breath out and then come to center pull the knees into your chest rock lengthwise down the spine cross your ankles and come into a tabletop shape stack your shoulders right over your wrists hips over your knees tuck your toes lift your knees just to hover off the floor press the palms into the mat and flatten the space between your shoulder blades reach your inner thighs forward Try not to lift the butt up any higher than the shoulders. From here, tap your knees on the mat and then lift your hips up to the height of the shoulders. So just a little movement, about three inches. Tap and lift, tap and lift. Pull the belly button in. Keep reaching the inner thighs forward. Keep the shoulders stacked over the wrists for eight, for seven, six, high plank in five, Four, three, two, one. Step back, high plank, breath in. Lift your hips and press, down dog, breathe out. Find some movement in the low body, pedal out the legs. 
do what you need to to get acquainted with this posture today. Might be the first time you've been in your down dog today. And then from here, soften the knees and look forward. Walk your feet forward about halfway down the mat so you're in a shorter downward facing dog. If it feels better to take the feet a little wider, you can take them wider than the shoulders. From here, push the chest back towards the thighs. Reach the left hand to the outside of the right ankle and gaze beneath the right arm. Turn as you breathe here. Look and turn the chest towards the right leg. Full breath in and full breath out. And then switch it out. Take the left hand down. Reach your right hand outside of your left ankle. Turn and gaze beneath the left arm. Wrap the left tricep down. Breathe in. Stay in twist. Breathe out. Bring two hands to the mat. Bend your knees and walk your feet all the way up to your wrists. Take ragdoll when you get there. Soften the knees. Grab the elbows and drop your head. Still some weight into the bottom of the feet. Rock weight side to side. Open up the back leg and the body. Full breath in. Drop the hands down to the mat and fold. Breathe out. Walk your feet together to touch. Find a halfway lift. Inhale. Fold forward. Exhale. Press through the feet and rise all the way up to mountain. Extend your arms overhead and get to the top. Reach. Breathe in. Forward fold. Take it right back down. Breathe out. Halfway lift. Inhale. High plank. Exhale. Press the floor away from you. Shift forward. Breathe in. Lower halfway down. Breathe out. Up dog. Inhale. And down dog. Exhale. Bend your knees on the back. Breathe in. Travel. Feet to hands. Breathe out. Halfway lift. Inhale. Breath. Forward fold. Exhale. Rise to mountain. Breath in. Forward fold. Take it down. Breathe out. Halfway lift. Inhale breath. Chaturanga. Exhale. Up dog. Breathe in. Down dog. Breathe out. Soften the knees and look up. Inhale. Travel. Feet to hands. Exhale. Half lift. Breath in. Fold forward. Breathe out. Rise to mountain. Inhale. Right back down. Fold. Exhale. Halfway lift. Breath in. Chaturanga. Breathe out. Up dog. Heart through. And down dog. Hips high. Soften the knees and look up. Breath in. Feet to hands. Breathe out. Half lift. Inhale. Fold. Exhale. Rise to mountain. Breath in. Forward fold. Breathe out. Half lift. Inhale breath. Chaturanga. Exhale. Up dog. Breathe in. Down dog. Breathe out. Right leg high. Inhale. Step through low lunge. Exhale. Soften your knees and find a cow lunge. Breath in. Pause here. Track the left hip forward. Lift the chest. Breath in. Cat lunge. Breathe out. Right hip back. Maybe the right foot stays grounded and you press the whole footprint into the ground. Feel a stretch through the top of your foot as you bump the right hip back. Stay. Breathe in. And stay. Breathe out. Inhale, cow lunge, lift the chest. Exhale, cat, curl and round. One more time through the cow lunge. Inhale, step forward and fold. Exhale, rise to mountain. Breathe in, forward fold. Breathe out. Halfway lift. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, up dog. Breath in, down dog. Breathe out. Left heel high, inhale breath, step through, low lunge, exhale, find your cow lunge, pause here for a moment, track the right thigh forward, feel that stretch for the hip flexor, breathe in, cat lunge, breathe out, press the left foot down, bring the outer left hip back, round the back, push into the fingers, feel that space right between the shoulders, come back for your cow lunge, inhale, 
and cat lunge, exhale. Last time, inhale, breathe in. Step forward and fold, breathe out. Rise to mountain, inhale, breath. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, breath in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Up dog, heart through, and down dog. Hips high, right leg high, breath in. Low lunge, breathe out. Take your back knee down to your mat. Crescent moon, inhale breath. Little pants adjustment <laughs> always has to happen here. So manage that right knee, guys. If you feel like the right knee is coming way out past the ankle, scoot the foot forward and press down into the right foot enough that you don't have a lot of weight in that left knee. That left knee cap should not be taking much load here. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Breathe and reach up, inhale breath. Airplane lunge, exhale. Fly the arms back, drive the left heel high up off the mat. Bring the chest forward to stack over the right knee. Bring your outer right hip back. Sit low into that lunge. Can you bring the right thigh almost parallel to the mat beneath you? Keep your core strong, inhale forward reaching lunge. Sweep the arms forward, wrap the triceps in. Lengthen the side waist as you reach out. Breathe in, hands to your mat, chaturanga, breathe out. Up dog, heart through, and down dog, hips high. Left heel high, inhale breath. Step it through for low lunge, exhale. Back knee to your mat, crescent moon, inhale. Arms high, settle the hips down and forward, and then check in with the left knee. If your foot's too close to your body, it's gonna be hard to really engage that quad. So scoot it forward until you feel strong in the left leg, like you could lift up away from your mat. That's where you're headed, breathe in. Airplane lunge, breathe out. Give some power back to your right leg. Drive your right heel forward. You can adjust the feet if you need to, but sink into the lunge. Stack the left knee over the left ankle. Pull your chest forward, reach your fingertips back, breathe in. Stay low, breathe out. Inhale forward, reaching lunge, arms forward, pinkies in. Keep the core engaged and reach, breathe in. Hands to your mat, chaturanga, breathe out. Up dog, heart through. And down dog, hips high. With the breath, right leg high, breathe in. Low lunge, breathe out. Crescent moon, inhale. Airplane lunge, exhale. Forward reaching lunge, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Up dog, heart forward. Down dog, hips high. Left heel high, breathe in. Low lunge, breathe out. Crescent moon, inhale. Airplane lunge, exhale. Forward reach, breath in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Up dog, heart through. And down dog, hips high. Right leg high, breath in. Low lunge, breathe out. Back knee down, crescent move, inhale. Airplane lunge, exhale. Forward reaching lunge, breathe in. Hands to your mat, find a three-legged plank. Right heel is lifted, breathe out. Flex the right foot, inhale, stay, exhale. Right leg high, three-legged dog, breath in. Flex the right foot and kick the heel up. Point the heel towards the side and the toes towards the floor. Lift the inner thigh, full breath in. Step through, low lunge, breathe out. One-legged halfway lift, left heel is lifted, inhale. Flex the left toes, kick the left heel back. Fingertips can stay on the floor or come up to your heart. Press into the right foot, turn on the right leg. Try to bring the outer right hip back so the hips stay level. Full breath in, full breath out. Stay, find the balance on the right leg, inhale. Shiva squat, exhale. Hands to heart or fingertips to floor. Do what's best in your body, but sit back into the right heel. Ask a little more of that right leg, that right glute. Guide the right hip back. Stay low, breathe in. Full breath out. Chair, feet come together, inhale breath. Sit the weight back into the heels. 
Spin your inner thighs towards the floor. Pull the belly button in and take the low ribs in and together. Keep the natural curve in the lower back, but take it out of the middle back. Find some strength in the core muscles to support you. Breathe in and reach. Exhale, hold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Up dog, heart through. Down dog, hips high. Left heel high, breathe in. Low lunge, breathe out. Crescent moon, inhale. Airplane lunge, exhale. Forward reaching lunge, breathe in. Hands to your mat, find three-legged plank. Left heel is lifted, breath out. Flex the left toes and lift the inner thigh. Three-legged dog, left heel high, inhale. Keep kicking up through the heel. Find a deep stretch in that right hamstring as you lift the left heel higher. One more breath in. Step it through, low lunge, breathe out. Left leg is base, one leg half lift, right heel lifts. Flex the right foot and kick out through the right heel. Track the chest forward. Full breath in, full breath out. Find the balance on the left leg, breathe in. Shiva squat, breathe out. Hands can come up to your heart or stay on the floor. Either way, find a long spine. Try not to round the back, but pull the heart through. Even if fingertips are down, you can track the chest forward. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, chair, bend the knees and sit low. Keep sitting back into the heels. Be light on the toes, but keep them on the mat for grounding. Can you sit a little lower? Full breath in, full forward, breathe out. Half lift, inhale breath. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog. Breathe in, down dog, breathe out. Right leg high, inhale, low lunge, exhale. Crescent moon, breath in, airplane lunge, breathe out. Forward reaching lunge, inhale breath. Three legged plank, exhale. Three legged dog, breathe in, low lunge, breath out. One leg half lift, inhale. Shiva squat, exhale. Chair pose, breath in. Fold forward, breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale breath. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Left leg high, inhale. Low lunge, exhale. Crescent moon, breathe in. Airplane lunge, breathe out. Forward reaching lunge, inhale breath. Three-legged plank, exhale. Three-legged dog, breathe in. Low lunge, breathe out. One leg half lift, inhale. Shiva squat, exhale. Chair pose, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale breath. Chaturanga, exhale, up dog, breath in, and down dog, breathe out, right leg high, inhale, knee to nose, exhale, right leg high, breath in, low lunge, breathe out, crescent moon, inhale breath, airplane lunge, exhale, forward reaching lunge, breath in, three legged plank, Breathe out, three-legged dog, inhale. Scorpion dog, bend the knee, open up the hip. Let your heel fall towards your left glute. Full breath in, full breath out. Right leg high, inhale breath. Low lunge, exhale. One leg half lift, breathe in. Shiva squat, pause here, breathe out. Sit the weight into that right heel, stay low, breathe in. Full breath out. Chair, sit low, inhale breath. Add on, turn to your right. Right hand can come to low back or straight back. Sit the weight back into the heels and reach the left arm forward. Turn the chest, maybe you peek over the right shoulder. Turn from the belly button up, point your knees forward, keep your inner thighs together. Keep the chair pose quality in the low body. Full breath in. 
and full breath out. Inhale, one-legged mountain, lift the left knee and flex the left toes. Bump the ankle forward right beneath the knee, press down into the right foot, turn on the right leg. Stay, breathe in. Step back, low lunge, breathe out. Rise up, high lunge, inhale, breath. Settle into it on the right side. Good, drive the left heel forward and up. Shift the shoulders back to step over the hips. Make this a different posture than your airplane and forward reaching lunge. One more breath in. Warrior two, breathe out. Settle into your legs. You can always adjust and bend the right knee a few times if you need to to find the depth of the lunge in your body. Actively reach out through both fingertips, breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach high, reach back behind you. Breathe in between the ribs as you sweep it back. Settle into that lunge, inhale. Side angle, exhale, right arm forward and down. Press the forearm against the inner thigh. Rotate the chest up, bring the left side of the rib cage back. Give some weight back to your left foot. Can you drive the left heel down? Full breath in, full breath out. Turn forward, low lunge, inhale, lift that left heel. Step back, chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, heart through, breathe in. Down dog, hips high, breath out. Left leg high, inhale, breath. Knee to nose, round your spine, exhale. Left leg high, breath in. Step it through, low lunge, breathe out. Back knee to the mat, crescent moon, inhale, breath. Fly it back, airplane lunge, exhale. Forward reaching lunge, breathe in. Three-legged plank, breathe out. Three-legged dog, inhale. Scorpion dog, exhale. Let your heel fall towards the right glute. Wrap the left tricep down, keep that down dog quality in the upper body. Full breath in, full breath out. Left heel up, inhale breath. Low lunge, exhale. One leg half lift, breath in. Shiva squat, breathe out. You might try hands at heart, inhale. Stay, exhale. Chair, sit low, breathe in. We'll add on from here, twist to your left. Left hand to low back or straight back, right arm forward. Sit back into the heels, guide the hips back and down. Pull the belly in. Keep the belly toned to help support the lower and middle back. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, one-legged mountain, right knee lifts up. Flex the right toes. Find your balance on your left leg. Good, parallel the right thigh with the floor. Lift the chest, find brightness in the upper body. Breathe in. Step it back to low lunge, breathe out. Rise, high lunge, inhale. Square the hips towards the top of your mat. Drive your right heel forward and up. Bend the left knee. Feel a deeper stretch in the right hip flexor as you draw the shoulders back. Full breath in. Open warrior two. Breathe out. Sit into your lunge a few times if that helps you get grounded. Give some energy to both legs and both hands. Reach out through the fingertips. Find space across the chest. Breathe in. Full breath out. Reverse warrior, inhale breath, reach high, reach behind you, breathe in between the ribs, look up, take it out of the left shoulder and into the side body. Inhale, come forward and down, side angle, exhale. Press your forearm against your inner thigh, turn the chest open, soften the right shoulder, rotate the right side of the rib cage back. Keep the left knee locked in that step over the left ankle. Full breath in, full breath out. Pivot and turn forward, low lunge, inhale. Step back, chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Right leg high, inhale. Knee to nose, exhale. Right leg high, breathe in. Low lunge, breathe out. Crescent moon, inhale, breath. Airplane lunge, exhale. Forward reaching lunge, breath in. Three-legged plank, breathe out. Three-legged dog, inhale. Scorpion dog, exhale. 
Three-legged dog, breath in. Low lunge, breathe out. One leg half lift, inhale. Shiva squat, exhale. Chair, breath in. Twist to the right, breathe out. One-legged mountain, left knee lifts, inhale breath. Step it back, low lunge, exhale. Rise to high lunge, breathe in. Warrior two, breathe out. Reverse warrior, inhale breath. Side angle, exhale. Low lunge, breath in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Up dog, heart crew. Down dog, hips high. Left heel high, breath in. Knee to nose, breathe out. Left leg high, inhale. Low lunge, exhale. Back knee down, crescent moon, breath in. Airplane lunge, breathe out. Forward reaching lunge, inhale. Three legged plank, exhale. Three legged dog, breath in. Scorpion dog, breathe out. Three-legged dog, inhale, low lunge, exhale. One leg half lift, breath in. Shiva squat, breathe out. Chair, inhale breath. Twist to the left, exhale. One-legged mountain, right knee up, breathe in. Step back, low lunge, breath out. Rise to high lunge, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse it back, breathe in. Side angle, breathe out. Low lunge, inhale breath. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Right leg high, breath in. Knee to nose, breathe out. Right leg high, inhale. Low lunge, exhale. Crescent moon, breathe in. This time half splits. Breath out, flex the right toes, sit the hips back and track the chest forward. So it doesn't matter what this looks like in your body, guys, you like to sit back on the left heel if that feels better for you. I don't care if you do that, but keep your back flat today. Pull the heart through, flex the right toes and feel that really deep stretch in the hamstring and the lower back. Full breath in and full breath out. Walk your hands forward, inhale, forward reaching lunge, lift the left knee up. Find this in your upper body. Wrap your triceps in, push down into the right foot, inhale. Stay, exhale. Give the right foot your weight, warrior three, lift the left heel. Push into the right foot, straighten the right leg, reach the arms forward, lift the inseam of the left thigh up. Stay active here, reach the whole body out away from one another, kick through the heel, reach through the fingertips, extend in opposite directions for four, chair in three, in two, and one, chair pose, feet come together, arms high, breathe in, hands to your heart, prayer twist, left elbow outside the right thigh, breath out, cross the right palm down to the left and start to bring your thumbs right to the center of your chest. Find the lower seat, sit your hips down and back. Guide the weight into the heels. Can the hips sit a little lower than the shoulders? And peek down at the right foot. Shift the weight into the right foot and pull the left heel up towards the glutes. Inhale, step it back, revolve crescent lunge, exhale. Press the right palm down into the left and guide the thumbs to the center of the chest. The left knee can always come down for a little bit more grounding balance. Hold and breathe. Can you keep your breath full? Full breath in. And full breath out. Stay, inhale breath. Take the hands to the mat and find a runner's lunge. Keep this active for a moment. Walk the right foot wider than the hands. Press the palms into the mat. Drive the left heel up and track the heart forward. Press the right foot into the mat. Feel some length across that left hip. Shift forward and back onto the ball mount of that left foot. Just find a few passes through center. And then shift yourself back 
Drop your knee to the floor, reach your right arm up, breathe in, and reach back for your left foot, find a quad stretch, breathe out. Let your hips come down, feel that deep stretch in the front of the left hip. Allow the right knee to fall wider as you breathe here. Full breath in, and full breath out. Send the left leg back, plant your palms. Tuck, walk the right foot back to the center of your mat and find square hips. Lift the left knee and find that low lunge again. Nice, inhale, one-legged halfway lift, kick the left heel up. Exhale, fold, two feet touch top of your mat. Inhale, rise to mountain, reach the arms up. And exhale, figure four, cross left ankle over the right thigh, sit the hips back and down. Flex the left toes and feel a stretch in that outer thigh and glute. Sit back into the right heel, breathe in. Stay low and sit the hips low, breathe out. One-legged mountain, lift the left knee up, inhale, breath. Flex the left toes, bump the ankle forward right beneath the knee. Good, full breath in. Dancers on your left, breathe out, catch the inside arch of the left foot. Once you have that, reach up through the right hand Kick back into the left, kick back and up. Let the left shoulder come back behind you slightly and then spin the heart forward. Lift up through the right hand and the left toes. Whew. It's a lot harder these days without the heat, that's for sure. You're here for three, two, and one. Rise up, mountain pose, two feet down, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, breath in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Upward dog, heart through. And downward dog, hips high. Left leg high, breathe in. Knee to nose, breath out. Left leg high, inhale. Step it through, low lunge, exhale. Back knee down, crescent moon, breath in. This time take it to your half splits, hips come back. Flex the left toes. Push down into the left heel, micro bend the knee. If you're really tight in the hamstrings, you can bend the knee a lot. Guide the left hip back. Feel some space in the lower back. Sink the hips back and down as you pull the chest forward. Breathe, feel that deep stretch in the left leg. Maybe you crawl the hands closer to the top of the mat. Inhale, stay and breathe, exhale. Now walk your hands forward and find your forward reaching lunge. Lift the torso away from the left thigh. Actively reach forward. Lift the inseam of your right thigh up. Start to feel the strength in that, that left leg. As you breathe in, lift the right heel and find your warrior three. Actively reach forward. Wrap the pinkies in. Think like mountain pose tilted forward. Can you find that active reach out and up without taking it into the shoulders? Keep the hips level. Lift the inseam of the right thigh. You're here for chair in three, in two, and one. Chair pose, feet touch, sit the hips low, reach up, inhale. Hands to heart prayer, twist to your left, exhale. Right elbow comes outside of the left thigh, sit the hips down and back. Press the left palm down into the right, and feel your thumbs start to come right to your heart. Can you bring your hips down a little bit lower than your shoulders? Good. Keep the weight in the heels. Breathe in. Full breath out. Look down at the left foot. Pull the right heel up towards the glutes. Breathe in. Step back, revolve, crescent lunge. Breath out. You can tuck the toes and keep the knee lifted or drop the knee down to the mat. Keep the twist in the upper body. Press the left foot into the floor to keep it stacked over the left ankle. Knee stacked over ankle. Good, push your outer thigh into your elbow. You're here, breath in. You're here, breath out. Look down at the left toes, inhale. Take the hands to the mat and find your runner's lunge. Exhale. Walk the left foot out wide of the hands. Keep the right leg active to start. Press the palms down and pull the heart forward. And then just start to shift forward and back on the ball mound of the right foot. Feel some opening in the hip. 
Shift the heel all the way back and then drop the knee to the floor. From here, reach the left arm up, breathe in. Reach back for your back leg, breathe out. Grab the pinky toe side of the right foot and start to kick into the hand. Allow your hips to sink down. If grabbing the foot lifts the hips up away from the floor, lose that. Let the hips sink down and just point the toes up without taking the grab all the way to the foot. Full breath in. Full breath out. Release that grip. Walk your left foot back to the center of your space. Tuck the back toes and find that one-legged halfway lift. Inhale, fold, two feet come down, exhale. Rise to mountain, breathe in. Right leg crosses over left, figure four, breathe out. Flex the right toes and sit back into that left heel. Push the hands together at your chest and keep your upper body as upright as you can. Can you sit a little lower, breathe in. And stay, breathe out. Rise to one-legged mountain, right knee is lifted. Flex the right foot, find your balance. Stand tall on the left leg, breath in. Find dancers on your right, reach back for your right foot. Grab the inside arch of your foot and square your hips forward. Once you get there, start to kick into the right hand. Reach upward just as much as you reach forward, if not even more. Keep the upper body lifted. Kick back, kick up. Good, nice, you guys. Breathe here. Kick and reach for four. Stay with it for three, two, and one. Rise to center, mountain, inhale, breath. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, breath in. Crouch and curl, ball squat, breathe out. Come all the way to seated. Send your heels right out in front of you and find boat pose. You could start with your heels grounded. Once your spine is nice and upright, the chest is lifted, maybe you lift the feet up. Keep some brightness in the upper body. Pull the knees in towards the chest. Hold four, halfway down in three, in two, and one. Come halfway down, hold your low boat, press your low back into the floor and curl the shoulders off the mat. Kick out through the heels. Breathe, eight, seven, lift in six, five, four, three, two, one. Rise it up, boat pose. You're here for halfway down in three, in two, and one, just halfway down. Flutter kicks with the legs, kick it out, push the low back down, kick, 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 kick. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rise it up, boat pose, hold. Pull the knees in for four, for three, halfway down in two, and one, halfway down, crisscross the ankles, cross the ankles, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rise up, boat pose, hold four, hold three, hold two, and one, knees to chest, rock and roll lengthwise down the spine, cross the ankles and come to your high plank, press the floor away from you, Hold and breathe. Step the right foot forward so the right knee is in at a hover. Left foot forward, left knee comes in at a hover. Come to your hover tabletop, push the hands into the mat. Pull the low belly in, tap the knees, lift. Tap, lift, both knees down, both knees up. Down, up, just eight, seven, six, five. Hold in four, in three, in two, and one, hold here, four, three, high plank in two, and one, step it back, high plank, breathe in, shift forward and come to the floor, breathe out, point your toes back behind you, press the tops of the feet down, inhale, cobra, lift the chest, lift the kneecaps, glide the hands back and pull the heart forward and through, one more breath in, lift, exhale, lower, with the breath, inhale, cobra, lift and lengthen, Exhale, lower and release. One more, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower, bring it down. Tuck the toes, firm up the legs. Press up, high plank, breathe in. Press back, down dog, breathe out. Right leg high, inhale. 
Step through, low lunge, exhale. Back heel down, warrior one, breath in. Bend the right knee, settle into that lunge, rotate the outside of the left hip forward. Feel the hips start to square to the top of the mat. Breathe in and reach up. Exhale, take the hands behind you and bind them at the low back. Lift the chest and roll the upper arms back. Breathe in. Humble warrior, breath out. Drop the chest, drop the head, look back at that left heel. Let the body lift up away from the low back. It doesn't matter if the shoulder fits inside the thigh, it doesn't need to. Maybe just the chest slides inside that right thigh. Full breath in. And full breath out. Rise to warrior one, release that bind. Inhale, left arm under right, bind the arms in your eagle pose. Exhale, bend the right knee, wrap your left leg up and over your right. Take your full eagle garudasana, pull the elbows away from the chest, squeeze the legs together and sit low. Keep pulling the forearms away from you. Guide the left hip back. Good, trust your body. Full breath in. Squeeze and pull everything in. Breathe out. Unwind the arms and sweep them overhead. Inhale. Find your figure four in your legs and sit it back. Exhale. Last little bit standing on this side. If you want your revolve big toe pose, right hand, right piece fingers, hook around the big toe. Pull the left knee out wide and then extend that left leg forward. The left hand can come to the lower back and you might start to find your twist from there. Maybe you reach that left arm straight back behind you. Kick out through the heel, press into the right foot. Find your balance, breathe for four. Back to where you started in three, in two, and one. Bend the knee and come back to that figure four hip. Sit back and down, breathe in, and stay, breath out. Two feet down, chair, inhale, breath. Forward fold, exhale. Half lift, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Up dog, heart through. Down dog, hips high. Left leg high, inhale. Low lunge, exhale. Back heel down, rise to warrior one. Breathe in. Find it in the low body. Rotate the right hip towards the top of the mat. Maybe the right shoulder and the right side of the rib cage come first. Lift the inseam of the right thigh and reach it back. Bend the left knee. Inhale. Take the hands behind you and find your bind. Exhale. Send the fist towards the floor. Lift your chest. Big breath in. And then with that bind, come down into your humble warrior. Breathe out. The chest can come inside the thigh. The shoulder doesn't need to fit inside the left leg. Try to keep the integrity of warrior one in the hips and the low body. Full breath in and full breath out. Release your bind and rise up to your warrior one, arms up, inhale breath. Take right arm under left and eagle the arms, exhale. Pull the elbows forward, breathe in. Give the left leg your weight, wrap right leg over left, eagle poses your breath out. Squeeze the elbows together, pull them away from the chest. Squeeze the inner thighs together and sit down into the left heel. Bring the outer right hip back. Squeeze everything into your midline. Full breath in. Full breath out. Unwind the arms and sweep them up. Inhale, breath. Figure for the legs. Sit back into the left heel. Exhale. Last little bit standing. Right piece fingers hook around the right big toe. Left piece fingers hook around the right big toe. Right hand to low back. I know how to twist. Come up to standing. Right knee comes out wide. From there, you can start to straighten the right leg and turn, gaze towards the right. Maybe the right arm reaches back. Ooh, that's harder when I'm looking at you. <laughs> Good, back to where you started in four, in three, in two, I know, and one back to center. Come to that figure four, sit the hips back, breathe in, and stay, breathe out. Two feet touch, chair, inhale, breath. Forward fold, exhale. Widen the feet out to the distance of your hips. Grab behind the calves and pull yourself into a fold. Round the spine, drop the head. Let the torso hang forward. Full breath in. And full breath out. 
Bring the knees down to the mat. Come to standing up on the knees for camel pose. Hands can come to the low back to support you. Hug the elbows together and back. Lift your gaze. And just start there. You can stay there the whole time or you can start to take the gaze up and along the ceiling. You might bind the hands and send the fist towards the floor or reach towards the heels. But keep lifting the chest up. Drive the shins into the mat and reach the heart up towards the ceiling. Gaze up, lift your nose towards the sky for four. Chin to chest in three, in two, and one. Rise up, sit back on the heels, tuck your chin in towards your chest and round the shoulders forward. Full breath in and full breath out. Swing the legs out in front of you, coming to Baddha Konasana legs, and we'll find a seated fold from here. Soles of the feet together, knees out wide, lift the chest, inhale, hinge and fold forward, exhale. Find a nice stretch for the lower back, you could drop the head and release, stretch the arms out. You could take a grip on the shins and hinge forward if you're feeling a little tighter in this shape. Find a few breaths to round forward, breathe in, drop the torso, breathe out. If you guys press the feet together, roll yourself back to upright, and then knees come in, come down to the back. Pull the knees into the chest, rock side to side on the lower back, and cross the right leg over the left, eagle the legs, bump your hips over to the right, and let your knees fall left. Gaze up towards that right arm, heavy the right shoulder. You hold a nice stretch down the side body, breathe in and breath out. And then come back through center and go up and over to the other side. So switch out left leg over right, scoot the hips over to the left and let the knees fall right. Extend the left arm, let the heaviness of the body drop that left shoulder towards the floor. Feel gravity bringing towards earth, allowing the twist to Deep in as you breathe. And then come back into center. Pull the knees into the chest, round the back, and squeeze the knees in. And then just like you started class, set the feet on the floor. Walk the heels in a little closer to the glutes this time, and find one last bridge pose. Lift the hips up. You could interlace the hands beneath you. Just release the hip flexors one more time. Shine the hips to the sky. Shine the thighs to the sky. Drive the feet into the floor. Breathe in. And then nice and slow, just one vertebrae at a time, come back to the mat. When you get there, extend one leg at a time. Find your shavasana on your back. And extend the arms out away from the body. And just let yourself rest. Maybe you tuck the chin to the chest a little bit, lengthening out the back of your neck. Extend out through the heels, tuck the shoulders beneath you. And just notice how your physical structure starts to rest in stillness. Bring awareness to where your breath has ended up. Could you take it from your chest down into your belly, allowing the breath to calm you down? Allow the breath to be that tether back into this moment. That constant reminder that you are here, you are breathing, you are present in this space in your yoga practice. Full breath in. And full breath out. You're welcome to stay still on your back for as long as you need. If you're ready to make your way back to seated, just do so with some care and concern. If you take some small movements and then roll off to one side, give yourself a moment to make it to upright. 
And when you do, if you do, you might take your hands to your heart, thumbs right to the center of your chest. And just acknowledge your heart space, that vulnerability it takes to make the time to work on yourself, to put the effort forth, especially when you're doing it all alone. Remember that even though we're distant, we are here with you and your presence means so, so much to us. So thank you for sharing your time, your effort, your energy. Happy Tuesday. Namaste. Namaste. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I'm really hoping it's Tuesday. That's all I was thinking about when I said that. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Oh, it's not it. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. I knew I was going to get it wrong. Oh, well. Hopefully you guys don't fault me for that. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Bobby Joe. Hi, Danielle. So cool. cool. It's still Tuesday. I know. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Jess. Oh, cool. Yay. Oh, my gosh. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for joining. Thank you. We love you. See you soon. Noon for See hit. See you at noon. Come back for hit. It'll be great. Thanks, you guys. See you later.